Now when I watch hunting videos, I usually just scroll to the end to see what the gigantic or big or enormous is. So I wanted to show you up front what my elk look like so you don't have to scroll to the end. And I put them in an ant pile when I get home so they chew up all the flesh. And I put this board in because if you don't put a board in, when they dry, they shrink in. Now I love elk, elk meat, and I don't hunt them anymore. But I wanted to show you the last one I got and how smart they are. Now I make my own sense and I get to test them a lot because here we see a lot of elk, but you pretty much gotta go to the mountains to get the real big giants. But it's fun to watch them. And they're uh, right here in the yard mostly. We had a grizzly come in and chase them all the way. So this video is from a, a while back. But I make my own sense. And when we camp, we camp really stealth. We use uh, mesh and that sort of thing and tarp all the machines so you can't see anything and we're very careful. And you won't see any video of our camp because the guys I hunt with are real mountain men and they're tough and they don't need a video or anything. They want their privacy and that's good and so do I in a lot of ways. But you've seen Quadzilla. It got its name at the uh, Calgary Sportsman Show and you've seen my camp and we go back into some pretty cool country. And it sets up fast. We set it up. We've got GPS on board. And if you watch my videos, you know a lot do. And I also have a winch pole on it. We use it for hunting and that sort of thing. And they all sits on one trailer. And away we go. And I'm not the best at narrating. But this trip, I wanted to take you with me. So I set up all my cameras. I bought extra batteries. And I thought I'd take you with me. And at the start, it's pretty easy. The trail's fairly tame. And... So I did a little bit of video, and when you get to the first plateau, it's not too bad. You can take some video and just show you what it looks like when you get to the top of some of these uh, summits. It's actually very pretty. And so I'm videoing away and having a great old time. And you can see how beautiful the country is. And what we see when we go over the first one or two summits, you get your red on top. But there's usually no elk there. you got to go down to the river. So And getting down there is not easy you now. I'll just give you a quick example of what goes on here when you try self video and you're by yourself and you're make breaking trail and this is what it looks like. So I mean when you watch a lot of these videos that are set up, I mean they're they've got another guy can I don't know how they do it, but they they can do it. Well I can't. I wanted to take you with you me and show you what it looks like and this is what it looks like. So finally we get to camp and we set up I'm having fun. I'm taking videos of all kinds of wildlife and it snowed and and just uh, having a great old time just trying to show you what it's like when you're up there. I mean it can snow in any minute the next time it's uh, 70 above and beautiful and it is beautiful up there and you see a lot of games so I'm taking pictures and and just uh, trying to take you with me. I can't film around uh, camp because the guys don't uh, don't want to be on the video and that's fine. Anyway, and it's beautiful, like I say, but when it came to crunch, all the batteries were dead. <laughs> so when I got home, I just wanted to show you how much, actually, equipment you need when you go on these trips. Now, it's, I'm drying everything out here, and I just put the camera on just to show you how you need every tool under the sun, because you never know what's going to happen. You've got to have cables and winches and just... Uh, a, a, amazing amount of equipment to make these trips happen. Now I know when you watch these reality shows this looks really good when they're freezing to death and then they uh, once that uh, shot's over they just go sit in the motorhome. Well you just can't exactly do that when you're way back and you don't have cell service. But the best thing we got this trip and I saved the best for last was this porta potty. Man was it handy when you're way up there. It's just fantastic so i saved the best for last thank you very much for watching and of course please donate to cancer